In this video, we're going to focus specifically on the proper setup and instructions for the Raven jack plate and the Raven scope. Uh, for any other instructional videos on the Raven crossbows, please go to the other instructional videos on this website. Let's start with going through all the components of the Raven jack plate. In the jack plate box, when you open this up, first thing you're going to see is the included FPS tapes, the actual jack plate itself. There's two Allen wrenches and the included dial adapter and the jack plate instructions. Next, let's look at the components of the scope box. You've got the operation manual, the scope, the scope rings, the battery, and the cleaning pad. Let's start with just a basic description on what the Raven jack plate is and what it does. It is an adjustable elevation scope mount that allows you to use the magnification of your scope while adjusting for your downrange distances by just turning this dial on the backside, which we'll get into further on in the installation. On the side of the jack plate, there are three settings. In the upper position here, this is a silent mode. So as you're turning your dial through the distances, it's silent. If you turn it down, this will engage the clicking mechanism inside, allowing you to use the clicks of the dial. And in the back position, will lock your dial in place. When you are at a set distance, you'll lock this in place so it won't, you won't be able to adjust or move it at that point. The dial will come with a specific feet per second tape that's already preset for your bow that you have. So this is a Raven R20 and the advertised speed is 430 feet per second. The tapes come in two feet per second increments and the closest one to that is the 431 feet per second and that will come pre-installed on the dial. Now to get you out past 100 yards, the Raven jack plate has a second option that's real simple. You'll simply just turn the dial here to the nine o'clock position and you'll want to remove this th thumb lever. So using a 16th inch included Allen wrench, you'll want to set it in the set screw, remove that and replace the thumb lever with this adapter that comes with the jack plate, completing the dial. That'll let you rotate the dial multiple times, increasing your elevation to get you out to 200 yards. Next is the installation of the jack plate onto the crossbow itself. You simply want to just remove the two screws located on the side of the jack plate with an eighth inch Allen wrench. There's a nut on the opposite side. Remove both screws and nuts. With both screws and nuts removed, you'll want to slide the jack plate right on the rail system of your Raven crossbow lining up the V grooves. I recommend setting up the Raven jack plate somewhere in the center of the scope rail. You'll have time later on with the scope to adjust for your eye relief when you get into that shooting position. But right now, we're just going to simply mount it right in the middle of the scope rail. You're going to want to slide the screws right through the opening of the scope rail and just attach the nuts and tighten down with the Allen wrench. We recommend 32 inch pounds for proper installation. And there your jack plate is installed on the scope rail. With the jack plate properly installed on the scope rail, next is to install the scope. You want to remove the scope rings from the package. And you're going to want to remove the top rings of the scope rings. Now with the top of the scope rings removed, what you're going to want to do is place them on the jack plate and position them so it allows you enough 
motion to move the scope back and forth to get the proper eye relief. So you want to make sure you get the right distance on the scope rail for your scope rings. And there would be a proper location right there. Then what you're going to want to do is just snug these up. You don't want to tighten them completely in case we have to move it later on when we get it up into a shooting position. Next, you're going to want to place your scope like that. So the scope rings are centered right in those locations and then replace the top of the scope rings and just tighten these down. You don't want to cinch these down tight. You just want to get them snug. With the top of the rings just snug, it still allows you to turn and slide your scope back and forth. Now we're going to adjust for proper eye relief of the scope. You're going to want to hold this in a shooting position. You're going to want to open your caps. And you're going to want to hold it snug until you're, you're comfortable in your shooting position and you're seeing a full field of view in the scope. It's going to be approximately about two inches from the scope is going to be proper eye relief. When you know your scope is in the correct position, next we're going to want to level the scope. What's really nice about the R20 Sniper Package is it comes standard with a built-in level on the front riser. This does two things. One, it's going to help you level out your bow to get your scope level. And second, it's going to really increase your downrange accuracy by keeping your bow level. To proper level the scope, you're going to want to remove the top turret cap of the scope. And using a small level, you're going to want to just rest that right on the top. And making sure that your bubble level on the front riser is indicating that your bow is completely level, you're going to want to turn your scope until that bubble is dead center. And now the scope and your bow are completely level. Now with the scope level with the bow, you can go ahead and tighten up your top top rings. You're going to want to cinch these down, but not too tight. You don't want to over tighten these. You want to just get them tight to hold it. After you've installed your Raven jack plate and scope and before sighting in, the next step is very important. You're going to want to shoot your brand new Raven crossbow at least 25 times at a very close range, around 10 yards. This will relax the limbs, strings, and cables, making your sighting in process way more accurate. Now that you've shot your new Raven crossbow at least 25 times and you've relaxed all the components, it's time to begin the sighting in process. As mentioned earlier, the Raven jack plate comes pre-installed with the 431 foot per second tape already on the dial of the jack plate. The at, that is the advertised speed of the Raven R20 sniper. When sighting in your Raven crossbow, we highly recommend using a steady bench or a bipod system to keep your bow steady so you are consistent with all of your shots. The first step in sighting in the crossbow is you're going to want to get set up at 20 yards. And then turn the dial of the jack plate to the 20 yard location, lining it up with the indication marks located directly on the back side of the Raven jack plate. You're going to want to start by just adjusting your elevation and your windage of the scope. So remove those turret caps. You don't want to touch anything on the jack plate. You're only going to want to use the elevation and the windage of the scope, just like sighting in any other scope. Begin shooting at 20 yards and adjust just the windage and the elevation of the scope until you are dead center of your point of aim. To get properly zeroed in at 20 yards, you should be shooting consistently less than one inch from your point of aim. Once you've zeroed in your Raven crossbow at 20 yards, it is now time to move out to 50 yards and begin the second step of the sighting in process. Once you're set up at 50 yards, you're gonna to wanna to turn the dial of the jack plate to the 50 yard location and line it up directly with the indication marks on the back of the jack plate. Shooting at 50 yards, will determine if the tape that is installed on your Raven jack plate is the correct tape. 
But if you have the ability to shoot further distances beyond 50 yards, this will even better verify that that tape is correct and really get you fine-tuned in to a select tape. After you've been shooting at 50 yards or any yardage beyond that, and you find you are consistently shooting low of your point of aim, you're gonna to wanna to install the next slowest tape on your list of tapes. For instance, you have the 431 installed on your R20, you're gonna to wanna to go to the 429. If you are shooting consistently high at your point of aim, then you're gonna to wanna to go to the next fastest tape on your list of tapes and install that. If you find you need to replace the tape with another tape from your list, what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the Raven jack plate lever all the way to the zero position so it's touching the left side of the block. Right at the indication marks, right to the right of the speed of the tape is where the tape overlaps. You're gonna to wanna to take just a fine razor blade and get under the tape like so. When you get to where the dial stops, you're gonna to wanna to pull that through and then just turn the dial until the tape has come completely off. Now with the jack plate dial still in the zero position with the lever all the way up against the left side of the block, you're going to want to take your selection tape and peel it off the backing paper. Like so. On each tape to the right of the speed is a red indication line. It is very, very important that this red line is lined up precisely with the zero marking and the indication marks on the back of the jack plate. With the red line lined up directly with the indication marks and the zero on the dial, continue to just turn the dial and let the tape sit right down into the recessed area of the dial. Making sure to press firmly around the entire dial so that the tape holds firmly onto the dial. You've now installed a new tape. The tape sheet comes with two other options. First, the blank tapes. The blank tapes will install exactly the same as the previous tape shown in the video. You're gonna to wanna to line the red line up with the indication marks on the back of the jack plate and the zero on top of the dial. With the blank tape installed properly, the next step zeroing in at 20, you're gonna to wanna to just turn the dial to the 10 increment on top of the dial. These are just increment numberings on the top of the dial. I recommend starting at 10 when you're zeroing in at 20. The second option on the tape sheet is an incremental tape. This will install exactly like the previous tape shown and the increments match up to the increments on top of the jack plate dial making it much easier visibly to see the increments. This tape is used when you remove the lever on the side of the jack plate and use multiple rotations to get out to your longer range distances up to 200 yards. Once you've determined that you're using the correct tape, your sighting and process is complete. For more tips on increasing accuracy at long range, please refer to section nine of the instruction manual of the Raven Jack Plate. Raven Crossbows.